play a game. Hey, what's up, team girls? Welcome back again to another video. For today's video, we will talk about Age Cut Tutorial 10 Plus 1. Yes, you heard me right. For today's video, we will talk about age cap relationship. And without anything, without further ado, let's start directly. <laughs> the first one, of course, before you will start an age cap, you should first find a Filipina. So that's the first one, how you will find a beautiful Filipina. Well, in this world full of a beautiful woman, some foreigners are always go to the Philippines to look for a Filipina. Right, my thinkers? <laughs> for sure you will. If you won't find a Filipina, you will be here in the Philippines. And for that, you will think for yourself where you will find in the province, in the city, in the mountain, anywhere. Well, at first, before you will look for a Filipina, you should first know what you really want because it's not the place it's you where your heart desire right so even you will be in the province in the city anywhere it's still you who will make a move for or make a decision where you want meet or do you want to find a filipina you will go outside, you will go in a public places where is you can find a boulevard, a mall, and somewhere in a mall where you can talk to a sales lady and you can you can <laughs> you can give her a piece of paper included your phone number or your Facebook name because that's mostly the idea of others that if they will like the sales lady, they will faster talk and give a small piece of paper to the sales lady and said hey you can reach me out this <laughs> but in overall tinkles if you really want to find a beautiful filipina find a beautiful filipina with a heart and when you will find a beautiful filipina with a heart for sure you should first know all about yourself it's all about yourself it's all about what you what you really want if you want if you want a city girl if you want a province girl if you want someone walking in the street if you want someone in boulevard in mall in restaurants anything it's all about your heart desire at first you should be first honest to yourself if what you really want to find so that's easy easy to talk but hard to do <laughs> so before you will look for a filipina you should first know who you really are and who you really want or what you really want the next one is how to attract young filipina with an older foreigner how it's very very simple think else the first one is you should be responsible for yourself you should be honest for yourself you should be matured you should be serious for yourself you should not only like play time like that if you want a filipina a younger filipina that will attract for your older man you should be serious about taking up relationship you know filipina will foster get attracted if the person is very responsible very matured caring honest and loyal and trustworthy so if you have such a uh, definition for that or attitude like that it will be easier for you to find a filipina just be honest to yourself just be confident for yourself that you are special you are not nothing right so if you want to 
to attract Filipina, you should first watch yourself in the mirror and then ask, am I attracted? Someone will gonna fall in love with you. Just have a little confidence for yourself. Don't make too much because too much is also sucking. So just be honest and be yourself. That's the most important thing. Just be yourself and let them fall in love with your charming attitude. That's the most important because somehow Filipino are looking for the attitude, not with the look. First, contact ideas. That's the third one. Yes, of course. If, if you will find a Filipina, you should first have the idea how to contact her, how to approach her in a very, 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 very good way. Number four question you should ask for sure if you are gonna meet your filipina online or even in public you should always first ask the very important papers if she will gonna say i'm single so you should first tell or not only the filipina both of you should show something that really prove that you are have no other woman in your life or other man in your life so it's very important to to show your identification card so we you both know each other now you're really single or even as the certificate of no marriage so there will be no problem in the near future if you will very very in touch now with each other you know it's very important to talk about that in the very first day or very first few days you talk because if if you will if you will hide that in a few months three months four months and then somehow one of you is noticed or no yeah notice that you are married and then for, for us, especially women, we foster get into a touch. We foster get attracted. We foster put all our love to that person. And then we will just find out that you are married. No. So, it's very downfall for us. Because why now? Why now that I'm, I'm really into you already? Why you should not tell it to me earlier so that it's easy to, to forget? Right? So, and the first thing you should ask the question for your, for the some for someone that you are dating, is you should first prove that there is no other man in your life or other woman in your life because, for us a woman, it's very very hard. We we totally make downfall for that. We we don't use to hang out with friends now because. We are still thinking about those moments that you have been together in that three months. If you make so much memories, that would be hard to forget, right? It's not easy. So you should first know the if you have no other woman and man in your life. And of course, if you are an older man, there and young, you will be dating a young Filipina. You will talk first also your goals in life. Where do you want to leave? Because what if you want to leave here in the Philippines and then your Filipina wants to live with you in your country? And then in that case, you don't talk that in the first few days. So you will have a problem also. You have, you have always an, uh, you don't, you have no agreement or no making decisions in such where you want to leave. Right? So it's very hard. So in the first meeting, I know it's very so early to talk about these things, but also it's very important because you never know what will happen in the next few days. and uh, the years that you will be together with you, Filipina, I, wa I want to live with you in your country. And then you don't want because you want to retire here in Philippines. So the relationship will be ruined for just because of that misunderstanding right so you should first know that you can tell to your filipina you are gonna live here in the philippines and somehow i will just want you to experience our country so that you will have the idea how my life runs when i was in that country right that's very important that you should have uh, decision making 
even it's so early but it's very very important to have that and of course as an older man there are some other guy older guy that you don't want the kids any longer right there are some older men uh, will be in a relationship with a young filipina and you don't have a uh, kids any longer but have you do you can uh, do you consider your filipina to have the kids also so in that situation you should also talk about that you should talk that if you want kids or not because most time filipina especially your older guy you already have kids in your previous previous fam previous wife or ex-wife right so you consider yourself i don't want to have a kids any longer because i already have but how about the young filipina that you're plan to marry they have no kids at all and also they want kids so you should talk about if your young filipina will want kids or not right that's very very important because in the near future you will fight about it i told you i want the kids i told you i don't want it so you have no decision making for that so it's very very important to have a decision making in your relationship so that's you know important things that you should ask for your future girlfriend or future wife the next one is the topic you should talk about of course it's very important to have a topic that you should talk about the one i said you should talk about if you want the kids if you enough if you want a family or what you only want you only want to live with what like a queen <laughs> of course not so you should have a topic that you should talk all about especially all about your relationship if you want to build a family no matter how rich you are but you have no kid you're the poorest one yet that's it so you should talk more some very interesting topic what's your dream what do you want to be in the future do you want to be my housewife or do you want to work especially your elder elder man you already have retired so you have your pension so as a young filipina also we need to earn our own so you will gonna ask them uh, what do you want love do you want work or you want to stay with me that's important you know you should also give the chance that your filipina will have the the chance to make decisions also and you should also ask for that what's her dream what do you want to be <laughs> it's very important that you talk some topics like that like her dream you want to achieve her dream together right that's very important or you want to be a housewife the whole life <laughs> for sure not i guess or some other wanted to take care for the kids to take care for you but other ones also want to have their own work you know filipina can still handle things even they're working they can still manage to to have time with the family so it's better to talk we are filipino we are flexible we can have time with our kids we can make time with our kids even we are so tired from work we can still make you food in the evening we can still prepare your foods that's we are <laughs> so that's very important thing you know to to talk about the future or the dream of your wife especially if they are young and also they have their their dreams that they want to achieve <clears throat> for the second part of the video i will be here with my husband for this part of the video tinkles i have here beside my husband because you know he's an older man with a young filipina so i'm for sure he have more thoughts about this 
topic play games together to know each other more better mm. right to know each other better yeah <laughs> you should play games in another way another way of play games <laughs> mm. which play games love you want yeah if you play different roles then i learn more about you if you see our video before we make a play with my husband in ldr so we make a play time in virtual right right so how it comes now you will know better with your girlfriend or wife by playing a games yeah you can look into uh, deeper personality yeah you will see things you will not you will not realize in daily talk so uh, sometimes it's better to uh, lift up the curtain to look into the shadow side of a person <laughs> So you see my shadow now while we are playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's it, Tinkles. For sure, you should also make uh, play time together. Not always having time with cell phone. You should do together, you know, another type of play, another type of exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is what you need know before start a relationship with age gap. Yeah, if you are the older man and you get together with a young Filipina, you should know. She needs time to grow. You need to give her space. You need to be patient. You need to accept flaws. For sure, a younger person needs overdrive sometimes. And you, as the matured part, you should be calm enough to to accept it uh, have a look for a hungry person you give them overload uh, plate with foods he will eat all very fast and the same is if you're together with a young Filipina if you give her money she will use it faster because they don't have it they don't have the experience before so be calm and accept it and let her uh, make the experience, play the game. Sometimes that's not really uh, expensive, so uh, don't think too much about that. Always give your Filipina the chance to grow, to, to, grow, to make experience while traveling, while shopping. Uh, in, in daily life, uh, to budget, to uh, to manage a house. To manage the house bills. <laughs> house bills <laughs> and, and everything. Yeah. So, uh, let her find her own way of life. Let her find the place where she wants to stay. Don't forget, if you're the older part, you don't want to hear it, but maybe you die earlier. So she should be able to solve her life alone and in a good way. And for that, you need to take care. That you should know before you start such a relationship. In another way, it's not serious and uh, it will end up faster. Yeah, that's the consequences if you enter the age gap relationship. You never know what will happen in the next few years. Oh, but it's not always there are some other also the the older and the, uh, the wife is fast again. <laughs> We also have such stories. Yeah, like so that. It's not. Nothing yeah. is is granted. So uh, only take a little bit care for that. That will be enough. For that, you will 
He will influence your young Filipina to be matured. Mm. That's it. You should know all about the pros and cons in the relationship of having an age cup partner. The next one is get into intimacy. Talk about your love language. There are different kinds of love languages. First know your own love language and then find out what's the love language of your partner. Then uh, have a look if it match, how, how you can handle that. Everyone have other needs. Uh, if you want to know more about the love languages, just Google and you will find it faster. Oh, you will find it also with your partner, the love language. Yeah, if you are able to understand each other, you are capable to do so. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, intimacy is not only about sex. No. It's about it's everything. Not. Yeah. That's it. How you feel comfortable yeah. with each other. Very true. Mm. Next one is clear your status. Yes, you should be clear your status because there are some others na I'm on an I'm in an open relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clear your status means uh, just open up what you want. You want a relationship, so start a relationship. Um, if you don't want get too close, so make an open relationship. Maybe your partner agree for that. Or start slowly, stay serious, and step by step make make it clear. Get married. Yeah, in the first place, you should talk about that already, because yeah, for sure, you should talk about that. But then you should not wait too long time to clear the status, because yes. if it takes too long time. Uh, Maybe in the Filipina run away faster because you don't believe in your words. Act, acts speak louder than words. Yeah. So if you don't act, if you only talk about it, it's nothing. Senseless. <laughs> don't do this mistake. Don't talk about your house, your car and your money. That's arrogant. Nobody won't know that. It will not be helpful for a relationship. Uh, you only force scammer to be with you to get your money. But if there is a serious Filipina, she is not interested in your house, in your car, and in your money. She is interested in you, to know you more. It will be a bonus if you have it, but it's not important. Uh, really important. And for sure not at the beginning of a conversation that... Uh, you have all. Mm -mm. Yeah. You should not tell at the beginning of the conversation that I have a house, I have, I'm retired, I have cars, I have motorbike, I have all. <laughs> it's not needed to talk about it in the first type time of conversation because with that I guess your Filipina will fall in love with your with what you have not with who you are yeah. right that's it so you should be first in yourself alone not with what you have then you will see if the Filipino will love you will like you or will stay with you because some other Filipino will just stay with you because of your money so you should first act like you have nothing and then you will see if Filipino will stay with you Mm -mm. Right? That's right. And now for the end of the video, we have a bonus for you. Mm -mm. It's a quiz you should play with your Filipina. 36 questions to fall in love. Wow. 36 questions to fall in love. You just click the, the link we will put in our description. So, 
I will gonna end this video. It's really long time video, so I hope you like it and subscribe and share. <laughs> Bye, Tinkal. See you again in our next video. Bye.